Hi, and welcome to Libby Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our paranormal news and discussion. Uh, and we have an article comes from Coast to Coast. This article is entitled Ghost Panic Grips Village in Thailand. So, uh, residents of a village in Thailand have taken to hanging red shirts outside of their homes in an effort to fend off what they believe is a sinister spirit responsible for a series of mysterious deaths. The proverbial ghost panic reportedly erupted after a whopping 13 men in the community of Ban Tai Wong died over the course of the last three months. Since the unfortunate individuals were seemingly healthy when they were passed away, uh, concerns began to spread throughout the village that their demise was due to the vengeful spirit. Specifically, it is suspected that the murderous apparition is the ghost of a widow who uh, is roaming the streets and taking the lives of unsuspecting men. Uh, when the 13th victim, Boon Un Bep Fumai, was discovered dead in the middle of a road last week, many villagers became convinced that their community was being targeted by a spirit. As such, they turned to a traditional Thai method for protecting against malevolent ghosts, hanging a red shirt outside of their homes. Uh, attached to the crimson clothing is a sheet of paper with a message warning families with only one son that they are particularly vulnerable to the widow's ghost. While it is likely a matter of personal belief as to whether or not the tactic will, provide, will prove successful in avoiding the wrath of the spirit, one assumes that it has provided some peace of mind to those worried that they'll become the 14th victim of this evil apparition. Coronavirus. I was thinking that while I was reading it. <laughs> uh, no. In, in all seriousness. Yeah. It's, I think that um, it's, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, at that point. Did they... A little bit of Lady of the Lake thing going on here. Yeah, it's, it's, it, yeah but the difference is it's three months instead of... 13 or 14 years. Uh, uh, that's a lot well, going it's on once there. It's one year. Um, it's pretty crazy the fact that they have like a whole like tradition thing where to ward off like an evil Adventure spirit, they spirits, have yeah. like a, a red shark that they hang on. That, that, I think that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Um, my question is, and I'm probably shooting for the fences here, <laughs> did they happen to do an autopsy on the guys that died? Oh, uh, dude. Cause of death? It death. depends what you're talking about for the rituals that they have, whether it's allowed in their religion, and like there's I mean, so that many would, That factors. would be the first thing yeah. I would ask is, were their autopsies done to see what the actual cause like it, of deaths were? It's says people. It says seemingly healthy. What does that mean? That like, doesn't mean anything. Seemingly, like, that seemingly that doesn't mean anything. Right. Seem no, no, I, I, I mean, you could have somebody that's completely 100% healthy, go to sleep, die because they have a brain aneurysm. Right. Out of nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that means nothing. That doesn't mean anything. Um, I'm just curious to see, like, you know, if there was an autopsy done, it would be interesting if... You know, they all died from the same thing. Right. Yeah. Then I would right. be like, mm, okay. But then again, did they all eat at the same restaurant? You know what right. I'm saying? Like, um, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. It's it's pretty wild. Yeah. So it's, there's, how does this shit some, make the news? There's some. Um, <laughs> right? Like, how does this not We're talking me? about coronavirus right, right now. now. It's too much stuff. Like, <laughs> this is better than that. Like, damn. Should we hang out red shirts so none of us get coronavirus? <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I mean, what's interesting here is that um, I, I like how there's a message warning families with only one son. <laughs> like, yeah. yo, if you've only got one kid, be extra careful around here. The widower is after him. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. I, that that would be the first thing that I would ask. Like, what's the correlation? What's the correlating factor between was there those age? thirteen people? Yeah, that, yeah. that's what I want to know. Yeah. Are they within similar age? Were they all single? Were they married? What were you know? Like, yeah. what is the significance and the similarities? To, that's what I want to know. I mean, there's not much I can really say. I mean, I'm not going to say it's bullshit. Um, right. Like I said, no, anything's have, possible. Again, you know, we, we live yeah, where we believe Lake Ronkonkoma, I mean, Lake Ronkonkoma like that shit once happens. Year, yeah. Once a year, uh, a young male, it's usually a young male, it's not an old person, right. drowns and drowns dies in the lake. In the lake. Yeah. And yeah. it's mm. never a female, really. It's, mm -hmm. it's never a female. It's, never. You, never hear, you never hear stories about um, females happening. 
but they're all within the same age range, yep. and so it's just like that. Ends up. I would just want to know more more facts to see. I mean, if it really supports it, and I can what? imagine if it's within a certain age, single, you know, and they all died from the same now, thing like that. Now, here's the other crazy. question I have: like, I would look back further in that town's history and say, was there another rash? Mm. Deaths, like were there thirteen deaths that happened stopped, twenty years right, ago, and then it right, stopped, right. and now twenty years later it's happening again. That's like point. that's yeah. that, that's just so you can build whether there's some type of yeah. repetition. Is yeah. it a curse? Is it like yeah. what is this? You know, because sure. yeah. like the Lady of the Lake is it's a curse. It's a curse, it's a curse right. on the lake. So it's interesting. It's yeah. definitely an interesting case. I, would I love shit it. like this. Yeah, I love no, shit like it's this. Definitely interesting. It's interesting. But just drop us off there. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll find out. There's just so many unknowns and variables that it could be and couldn't be. It's just it's impossible. As to long tell, as really. as long as the deaths are around James's age and not ours, I think we'll be we'll okay. Be right. Oh, the widower will definitely be after me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's interesting. Yeah, um, I would just love to know more about it. I mean, this is yeah. why you really need like you know, legit paranormal teams to take cases like this on that you know. You need a, Nobody you, really know, you, you know. You know what it is. You need, and, and it's one thing that the UFO community has that we don't have. Right. There, right. there needs to be a global standard of what a paranormal yeah. investigator is, 100%. and because there's not, right. there's always going to be room for argument. Oh yeah. So I mean, whether we model our shit after Hans Holzer or we model our shit after Ed Lorraine Warren or whatever it is, you whatever. just we got to come up with some other. Fucking Charles Dickinson because he was a paranormal investigator. Like, whatever it is, a guideline. Some type yeah, of some guideline. Type of guideline. Yeah. We uh, we have a very loose guideline. All paranormal investigators believe okay, it's EMF theory and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it, but there needs to be a line. Yeah. And then you Thank check you. off each box, and if that that box isn't working, then you drop that theory and you try another one mm -hmm. until you come up with a Bible or to like something. I don't know, I've been pushing for that a lot recently. Just follow ours. <laughs> We've set the line. We just, just gotta force it onto other people. people. So, you know, because it takes too much work. Um, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, you can give this video a like, share, and subscribe. You can also click the little notification bell to learn all of our content is uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys very much for joining us on this latest edition of Ghost News Network. And until next time, take care, guys.